So I know this variant is pretty old, but I wanted to get to reviewing this variant since I had it for a pretty long time, but I haven't gotten the chance to review it. So for today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at the epic variant for the MG81, the Dark Lord, and telling you guys if this variant is worth using or not. But I'm going to go down through a lot of details like the iron side difference, the look, and a lot of other attributes that will contribute to you wanting to use this variant or not. So my name is Nick, and welcome to another video of mine. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. So first off, the Dark Lord. Now the Dark Lord is a really nice looking epic variant for the MG81. If you don't know, there's not a big difference in the Dark Lord compared to the normal MG81, other than it has a sort of a longer type barrel, and the iron sight for it is a lot more decorized than the normal MG81s. But overall, I like how this variant really looks. The gold and black looks great on this variant, but again, there is no big difference, just the iron sight and the barrel's a little bit longer. But speaking of the iron sights, this is what the iron sights look like compared to one another. And as you can tell, there is a little bit of a difference. The Epic MG81's Dark Lord iron sights are a little bit more decked out, and the normal MG81s are just sort of normal but in my opinion the normal mg81s is a lot better than the dark lords and that's because there's not a lot going on there so you're really going to be more focused on what you're aiming at than what's around the site but the only way to get this variant is through the supply drop system but it is an epic variant so it's not going to be that hard to get than if it was a heroic but i know once you do get it the one question is is this variant worth using so let's break down this variant through multiplayer and zombies so i can give you guys the answers so first off multiplayer so multiplayer has a perk and it's 10 percent extra soldier xp now it isn't a lot but you'll see a little bit in double xp situations and for the performance it's a pretty good gun in both core and hardcore it's an lmg lmgs are pretty good guns in world war ii at the moment and this gun is no different it's a pretty good lmg the attachments i use for this gun in multiplayer is extended mags rapid fire quick draw and grip now quick draw so i can ads a little bit faster grip so i can control that recoil since rapid fire is there rapid fire so i can shoot a little bit faster and do more damage to my enemies or kill them a little bit faster and then extend a mag so i can have more shots in a mag now the accessibility for this gun it's pretty easy you only get it through the supply drop system but it is an epic variant so it's going to be a little bit easier easier to get it if it was a heroic but it's all rng so it could be easy but it probably couldn't it's just all a matter of luck really now that's all i can pretty much say for this variant to multiplayer and i'll talk about it in zombies now in zombies it doesn't have a perk and that's pretty much okay because the performance for this gun is pretty good in zombies it can last all the way up until round 20 and then you'll start seeing it deteriorate a little bit but it is an lmg so obviously it's gonna last pretty long but the attachments i use for this gun in zombies is extended mags rapid fire grip and steady aim. now it's basically the same thing as multiplayer cinema mags so i can have more shots mag rapid fire so i could do more damage to the zombies and kill them a little bit faster and then grip so i can control the recoil a little bit but steady aim so when i do hit fire all the bullets don't go everywhere and they actually hit the zombies now for the accessibility of this gun you can only get it through the mystery box and zombies so it's going to be pretty hard but again it's all rng just like the supply drop system it could be hard but it probably couldn't it's all a matter of luck now let's combine all that information up to tell you guys whether this variant is worth using or not so first off the look is amazing i I really like the look of this variant for an epic it looks really slick to be an epic variant like i really thought this was a heroic other than an epic and the performance is pretty good in both multiplayer and zombies you can't complain about that now you only get a perk for this variant in multiplayer but it's pretty much okay since the performance for this gun in zombies is pretty good and it really doesn't need a perk now for the easy accessibility for this gun in both multiplayer and zombies it's all pure luck really you probably have this variant you probably don't it's probably taking you a long time to get it it probably isn't like you're probably gonna get in your next opening just whatever it is it's all pure luck to get this variant really so if all that information is this variant worth using and the big answer to you guys on this is yes this variant is worth using in both multiplayer and zombies and that's because the look is pretty good and it's a not that bad using gun in both multiplayer and zombies it's definitely going to pack a punch in both of those modes and it's literally the only epic variant that you can get for the mg81 at the moment since the other one was exclusive to the whole shamrock and all or whatever 
event and now you really can't get it anymore but guys that's basically pretty much it for this video and if i did help you guys out on whether in choosing or not to use this variant then drop a like it helps me out a ton and if you need to subscribe for more recent content because i upload on monday wednesday friday and sunday and remember hit that bell subscribe button so you don't miss an upload and also follow me on mixer.com slash to check out my latest fortnite streams also whoop up cards and series plays right about now and i'll put in the description down below so this plays is called the is this variant worth a series and basically you're wondering if a quartermaster collection variant or supply drop one is worth using or not then this playlist is for you i basically go down through a lot of details to tell you guys if this variant is worth using like the iron side difference the look the performance and all that to give you guys the big answers so if any of that really interests you then i highly recommend checking out the playlist after the video but again guys that's basically pretty much it and i hope you guys have an amazing day and also comment down below your thoughts about the dark lord do you like how it looks do you not like how it doesn't have a zombies perk just any opinion i would love to hear it in the comments down below but i'll see you guys in my next video and peace